whoever this message is for, it is reaching you just at the right time. And this message is specific. It will not be for everyone, but be open to receiving. Know your worth because big changes are coming in. You guys are really soul searching and you're digging deep in knowing like, okay, there's some type of hint or confirmation that you guys have been given that a certain miracle or blessing is yours when you thought there's no way. You really thought there is no way that this one thing can be mine and it's your 10 of cups. It's graduating from a really hard lesson. It's having this major acceptance of yourself, letting go of old programming, self-limiting beliefs and truly becoming the empress. So someone here is, I feel like it's pregnancy Okay, but it doesn't have to be, but I feel like for most of you, it's going to be about giving actual birth. Okay, so this could be your first child or a child that you didn't think that you could have. And then for others of you, this is a, a soulmate or there was just something that you thought you could not have, whether it was a soulmate, a marriage. I don't know, it's something big though, like a home. And you guys could have just watched my live stream about, you know, that this message is for you. And if you guys did or did it, you might want to rewatch it or, or watch it. You guys are starting to see that you are in the process of being made aware that you need to trust that there is stuff in this well. <laughs> Does that make sense? You're thinking there's no way I could get pregnant. There's no way that I'll meet my soulmate. There's no way that I'll ever get married. There's no way. And you are being called to trust, to be open to this big change because this big change is in this well. You feel me? The well represents deep or infinite possibility and resources available, but the seeker, okay, whoever this message is for, must lower the bucket and have faith, okay? So you have to have faith that this endeavor will be fruitful, that this thing that you've been trying to manifest, that you've like given up on, that it will become fruitful. And if you knew all of the things that you ever wanted would come to fruition, would you chase it? Would you be so worried about it or hyper-focused on it? And you don't have to be. You don't have to be. You are about to be very abundant. Okay, whoever this message is for, you're about to be very abundant. You are the empress. You can rest. F relentless. We can rest now. Okay, so affirm it below. I am the empress. I am open to receiving. I am okay to rest. I am safe to rest. Okay, affirm it below. I am safe to rest. I attract miracles daily. I am so lucky. I create my own happiness. So... You have to trust that this endeavor, this miracle will be fruitful even when it seems like there is nothing in here. Like you're like, I looked in there already, bestie. There's dust. It's just dust down there. There's not dust. There's actual blessings. Okay. So you are working to really go through this paradigm shift to cleanse old beliefs. And it has a lot to do with actual water and then your emotions. So I keep getting that all of these things tie together to the empress like all you have to do is believe you are a master manifester god is saying all you have to do is believe that that's down there duh it is down there but you don't believe that it's down there you don't believe that is for you so there's gonna be a lot of things that you guys have been questioning on your journey like where am i going how did i get here i feel abandoned i, I feel left behind and you are being called to know your worth and to be open to receiving and this is a big deal like a really big deal so we have the well, which is you guys believing in this endeavor, knowing that it is full. This well is full just for you, knowing that you are the empress. You are abundant in every sense of the word. You are loved in every sense of the word. You are beautiful. You are going to be feeling like the empress. You guys are going to be glowing. So somebody here could definitely be getting pregnant, like definitely conceiving or it's something... The manifestation of your dreams is here. We have the four of swords. You guys have been burning the midnight oil. It's time to rest. Does the empress look exhausted, tired, working overtime? Absolutely not. So you guys are really stepping into your divine feminine energy despite whatever gender. It doesn't matter. You're just an empress energy being open to receiving, knowing that you're abundant because you just know that you can rest now. Okay, because resting means you know that it's coming, you know that it's yours, you know that you can believe in this endeavor, that it is there for you, because you would not be able to rest otherwise. You would have to have faith. This requires you to have faith that you are 
getting everything that you could have possibly dreamed. Like, you're, I can't even say all the words. There's just so many words. Okay, so before I pull any of these out, I want to show you guys this. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the world. Like, this is big happiness for you and your family feeling abundant. You being like, yeah, I'm chilling. I am chilling. Or you guys could be getting pregnant and then just being in full rest mode. Maybe normally you like to work a lot and you're like, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm just going to chill. You guys are not wanting to push your body. Or you're going to start being kinder to your body as if there were a child there, you know, that you were trying to tend to or take care of. We have the family of light. So all of this is centered around your emotions, what you deserve, your abundance, how you look at abundance and knowing what you deserve. You guys deserve to be around your chosen family. You deserve to be around the family of light. And so this is what you guys are building. This is what you guys are, are working towards. Okay, so then we have Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. We have Paradigm Shift and we have Invitation by Water. So I wanted to talk to you guys about this Paradigm Shift. You are undergoing radical growth in your belief systems. Now it Now is the time to challenge old attitudes and question the previous expectations. You are in an extraordinary time. Great leaps forward can be made in a moment. The world you thought you knew can suddenly break open and a new world can become your reality. So whatever you thought this was, having a family, being married, your master manifestation, like the biggest blessing that could ever come into your life. There is a new world becoming your reality because you are ready. You are ready to step towards this faith that you have. You are ready to open this door. You are ready. And let's see. So you guys are ready for this beginner's mind, which means you're going to assume nothing and therefore you're open to everything. You're going to assume nothing and therefore you are open to everything. And this could be inner child healing for some of you guys, but you are going to be innocent, curious, unfixed. So this is like a child before the world gets a hold of them. You don't have any preconceived notions of what can be and that's how you're going to start maneuvering in this shift and you're going to unlock everything you could have ever hoped and dreamed for previously. So now for Archangel Raphael. Part of your divine purpose is to develop power of your mind and use it for healing purposes. If you change your mind, you can change the world. Affirm it below. If I change my mind, I can change the world. Let's see. If so, guidance and healing inspiration can come to you daily, helping improve your own life and the lives of others. Healing and opening the mind to new realities and possibilities are the gifts of Ascended Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. The mind of a light worker needs spiritual light, information, understanding, and wisdom. In the same way, the human body needs food, water, and clean air. The hunger for wisdom can push you to seek knowledge, and this can be a healthy impulse. However, if you love knowledge so much that you are seeking without taking time to digest, integrate, and apply what you have learned, you may end up confused or mentally exhausted. So you guys could be feeling like forgetful, mentally fatigued, and you're not feeling usually, you usually feel bright and you might not be feeling that this way. And we also talked about this in the last live stream. So I would definitely check that out if you guys missed it. But you have this invitation to purge, to clear out old ways of thinking and doing things, to start implementing all of the things that you've been learning in the best possible way. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. So you're going to be giving yourself flowers. You guys are going to be cleansing your energy a lot more because if you are a light worker, if you are chosen, if you are a seer, then that is really important for all of the things that you take on physically, emotionally, mentally, and just know your worth. Know that you can rest. Know that it's okay for you to rest and relax and not have to do so much. Be open to receiving. Be open to these big changes. Okay, let's see what else is going on for you guys. I'm so excited. Okay, attention. Okay, you guys have been very attentive 
to certain things or hyper focused on certain things or thinking that you know these things will never come in for you there's no way there's no way but you guys are getting ready to rest like you have never rested before so you can back up from all of the things that you've been trying to implement you guys have been being really hard on yourself thinking that i don't know you've just been turning it into work instead of these things being exciting you've been turning it into work and it's time for you guys to get more comfortable and to let things flow okay i could shuffle these okay you guys are on a path towards wealth maturity marriage love and courtship okay you guys are turning your attention away from the things that you normally fixate on the things that you normally hyper focus on and you are turning your attention towards having fun dating enjoying marriage enjoying the fact that you will have a soulmate one day you just are in this mode of like i know it'll be mine so like i don't need to stress i don't need to worry like it'll come when it's supposed to come you are on the right path affirm it below i am on the right path you guys have generous pow powerful generous people coming in to aid support and just take care of you and so there's this powerful wealth transfer coming in where there are powerful people that you are attracting that are just like magnets to you that are going to be part of your destiny helpers people that are going to be helping you along this path you will be maturing spiritually maturing emotionally maturing and letting more love in you will have more success in love because this is something really important to you for however you guys grew up or certain things that you guys went through page of cups and great fortune so you guys have been making yourself sick about certain things and you are learning to speak up on certain topics to help others whether it's about relationships or addiction like a healthy love life you guys are going to make your great fortune by certain ideas i'm hearing sirens so archangel michael you guys are definitely divinely protected and what you are needing to divinely protect is your loved ones you are needing to shield and cover them more so instead of paying attention on being hyper focused on all of these different things you are needing to focus more on love and not love like chasing someone dating a dating app speed dating like chasing the love that you have for yourself doing that more marinating in the love that god has for you marinating in the happiness and like really being grateful and god is saying you will have great ideas you will feel energetic you will feel youthful you will tap into your great fortune doing this you are needing more romance in your life you are needing more self-care in your life more rest so god is like sending you this love letter saying it's okay to rest okay you guys have gone through a lot of pain a lot of suffering you guys are putting your heart back together and you are learning to practice like you play you might preach about certain things or teach about certain things that you feel like i don't even practice that so you're learning to really practice what you talk about putting things into perspective and working on that more for yourself. We just keep getting the world. You're going to graduate from this lesson. So you don't really need to make it this tug of war, this back and forth, rest is required, meditation, being out in nature, a lot more self-care than you've been doing. So maybe you thought you were doing plenty of self-care and you're gonna kick it up a notch. Like, you know what? I do need to take more time for myself. I've been overworking myself, overexerting, and then not realizing that, you know, devil energy is trying to take over and create all types of relationship issues because you're with your divine counterpart. Okay, so it's time for you to make the first move towards people that you really care about and work together as a team and make it more cohesive. Sometimes we wait for the, the other person to make the first step. And in all relationships, there's a figure eight. There is a dance. And God is saying it's time to change the dance. It's time for a new figure eight. It's time for a new way of doing things. To work together. To have things be more cohesive. This is going to build your stamina and your strength. And I'm guessing that because of these sirens, like that part is really important. You guys could have been panicking about your love life, panicking about your relationships. Like, I'm never going to have this. It's never going to go my way. You have to know that in that well that what you've ever wanted is the, is in there already so again this requires faith and this is what's going to speed things up for you 
So again, you're going back to the mind of a child where you're not going to have these preconceived notions. There's a lot that you're purging. There's a lot that you're resetting. And I said this in the last live stream that whatever you guys are resetting and purging, especially if you're in a divine union, you're going to be speaking on things that you do not normally speak on. But if you are holding that in and you are not realizing that some of these divine unions that are chosen are under attack, then they're going to be using that against each other instead of using that for the world and purging what they need to purge. It's been like the theme of this week is going through this paradigm shift and releasing old ways of doing things that just don't serve any purpose anymore. This is going to help you guys be really in tune with your emotions. God is saying there's certain things that you are not in tune with and before the tower comes in and upheavals everything, you are needing to upheaval certain programming. That way your mind can be focused and ready for the things that really matter. Okay, let's see if there's anything else for you guys. Whoa, 10 of Pentacles. These are big changes. You are about to be the CEO of your life the boss of your life, the emperor of your life. And these things you guys have really learned how to master. But in order for you to have the creativity that you want, the life that you want, the love that you want, you are needing to become the empress. And to believe that you are worthy of that you are worthy of rest, that you are worthy of romance. Sometimes we don't realize that we're pushing these things away. I feel like you guys have been carrying a lot of different people's projections and you guys might feel bad about speaking your mind or saying certain things, but you're not going to carry this, this weight around anymore of not saying what you need to say. You're going to say it with your whole chest. Okay. Because again, we got this in the live stream where we got the thief card. And I said, the, do you think that this thief is coming in to steal your watch? Do you think that this thief is coming in to steal the $5 in your pocket? The thief comes in to steal your joy, to steal your relationship, to steal the love that you have for yourself or the fact that God is covering you. Devil energy wants you guys to think that in your union, God has abandoned you, abandoned your marriage, abandoned your home, or maybe you guys haven't been feeling the Holy Spirit in your home. So instead of thinking, oh, they're just wanting to take my manifestations and take these things away from me that have to do with career and finance, but it's not about career. I mean, some of it is, but this is to take things that matter, okay? Your faith in God. If devil energy steals your faith in God, I mean, look at all these swords. There's six, no, there's five swords in this bag. And he's still like, wait, I got one in my hand, but that's not enough. I need that one on the ground and I need that one on the ground. So taking your faith in God, your love for the divine, your love for your union, you protecting that and covering that by any means necessary. Divine counterparts that are under attack right now, the devil, en devil energy is not like, let me take a day off from attacking the collective, attacking those that are chosen, those that are seers, those that are light workers empaths, intuitive, star messengers, any of you guys that have a divine purpose, devil energy is not resting or taking a day off to say, let me just give them a break on like whatever it is that they're working on. It is to derail you from God. It is to derail you from the divine, from knowing that God loves you. And that has been tale old as story, old as time, tale as old as time, devil trying to make you think that God left you a long time ago. Duh. Your person never loved you. They're always going to cheat. They're a dirt bag. They're dusty. So why are you even here? Devil energy is always going to put that fog in your head. More sirens. So again, Archangel Michael is saying, protect. Call on me. Okay? No weapons formed against me shall prosper. Use that in your relationship to cover, rebuke, and denounce in the mighty name of Jesus or whoever it is that you guys pray to because they are coming for your joy. And I don't say that to fear monger. I say that because you guys know what time it is. I don't have to say it. We don't empower devil energy. We don't empower the ops. We don't empower the entities. Okay, the monitoring spirits. But they will always come to play when you find your purpose. Now, if you have your divine counterpart, there's... Two of you that have purpose, two of you that are on a divine mission, double trouble, double the warfare, double the attacks. And sometimes when we're just going through the day to day, we don't even sit back and realize like, oh my gosh, I've been so mad about this, that, and the third whole time. It's this. So let me make the first step to recovering it. You are in recovery mode. You are going to be in a nest, mending your heart, repairing your heart, and like 
you don't care about anything else. You're like, I have to know my worth and I have faith that God is here. There is a huge miracle coming in for you. Like, I can't even explain. You guys are going to be crying. If you were with some, your divine person, they're going to be crying. This is really big news. These are, this is really big news. You're going to be so at peace. Like nothing else is going to matter. And that is why this energy is coming towards you to stop you from this paradigm shift, to stop you from believing that this marriage is for you, this love is for you. Know your worth. Know God's love for you. You are not delusional. All of this is for you because you are not. It could easily turn into a painful ending and that's not what you guys want. You guys have gone through so much betrayal. Three of swords, ten of swords, seven of swords. And you're like, I'm, I'm done. I know what I deserve. I'm not going to be the person that's stealing my own joy, robbing myself of joy. I need to chill and relax. And you will get more ideas that way. You will feel more creative that way. You are loved in every sense of the word. Okay. So let's see. The ship has sailed. The ship where you worry. The ship where you doubt yourself. That ship has sailed. Okay. The stormy, the storm that you guys were in, you guys are weathering the storm. That ship has sailed. You guys have a fighting spirit. You guys refuse to become just some nobody. You are in your empress energy and you are going to stay there. Okay. Affirm it below. I am rich in all areas of my life. I am rich in all areas of my life. The way that you guys take action is going to be different, way different. You are planting different seeds. Claim your energy. Call back your energy. Okay, so you guys are going to be doing this by spiritual baths, spiritual showers, crying more, purging more, releasing more, praying more. Okay, understand the power of your words, how powerful your words are, how much you need to be praying and covering yourself, covering your family. God loves the direct line of communication. Plant that seed every day, all day long. Affirm it below. I'm going to plant that seed every day, all day long. Because every step counts. Every prayer counts. I love that. Every prayer counts. Every step counts. Every word counts. That's why they call it spell work. If you are saying negative things, okay, let me give you guys an example. You guys say a bunch of positive things to someone, right? And you're loving and then you say two negative things. I bet $100 they're going to remember that negative thing, okay? Like if you told them all the time, oh my gosh, you're so beautiful, you're so this, you're so that, you're so this, you're so that. And then you tell them like, your hair is awful. Mm-hmm. You don't look nice. They're never going to forget that. They are never going to forget that. So make every word count. Every word count. And a lot of you guys hold your words a lot. But maybe you unleash on the wrong people and you are just stepping into your empress energy. You're also going to need more sleep. You are entering the nest, the four of swords, and you are getting more beauty rest. Every prayer, every word, every step counts. Okay, it's a perfect affirmation. Every prayer, every word, every step counts. God is always listening. The universe is always listening. Don't ever forget it. Okay, guys, let me know what's going on in the comments. I hope this message finds you guys well. Don't forget to check out the last live stream. And I know that it will be a great extended or a great refresher. Don't forget to smash the you know what, hit the bell, duh. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.